Hello everyone, welcome to Cambridge Primary Science, Stage 5, Chapter 3, States of Matter. And today our topic for discussion is who invented the temperature scale, that is topic 3.9 in the book. Okay. Now, as we know, there are the different scientists who have used the different ideas or evidence to develop the different temperature scales. Okay. Like we can say that to measure the height, we use the scale that is meters and what we weight, what and what is the weight of our body to know how much you weigh you need a scale that is called as kilograms and the scale we use for the temperature to measure the temperature that is degrees okay and to measure anything we need a scale right to measure it with so different temperature scales are invented by the different scientists like the fahrenheit the andrews and the lord kelvin Okay, like you have studied in your book, the Fahrenheit invented the first thermometer, but the scientists could not agree with that temperature scale of the thermometer. Why? Fahrenheit invented a new scale. That's why he decided that the coldest temperature he could make by mixing a different substances, that is zero degree. And on the Fahrenheit temperature scale, the water freezes into ice is 32 and boils in 212 degree. That is the important point that in the what is the temperature scale of the Fahrenheit and this scale is still used in some of the countries that including the US then Anders Celsius come into the picture he also interested in measuring the temperature so he suggested his temperature scale that is from 0 to 100 degree and that is he said that the water will boil at 0 and the ice will melt at 100 but most of the scientists did not agree with that and they find it weird or strange that how the hot things have a lower temperature than the cold things so Celsius what he did that he reversed his scale he reversed the number he made 0 degree temperature at which the ice melt and 100 degree temperature at which the water boils and this is the scale we are generally using it today we measure the temperature in degrees celsius okay then lord kelvin comes into the picture and kelvin and the other scientists what they were researching their research was basically on the lowest temperature possible the kelvin invented a temperature scale to measure the so cold things that there is no movement at all and everything including the air that freeze into a solid so this temperature is zero degree on the kelvin scale he called this temperature as absolute zero temperature in which the things in which the you know uh, everything it will not move and it freezes okay so on the Kelvin scale, the water freezes at 273 degree and boils at 373 degree. And now we are going to discuss some of the question and answer that why do you think? Okay, our first question is why do you think the scientists needed to invent a temperature scale instead of just deciding how the thing is hot and how the thing is cold? Okay, the scientists needed to invent this temperature scale so that their investigations come in an accurate manner. Instead of just doing the guesswork, they're, they're, instead of doing the just estimations, they want their investigations to be accurate. The second question is, how does Celsius decide on his scale? Okay, Celsius give the value 0 and 100 degree to the boiling point of the water and to the melting point of the ice. How did he later change it? He reversed the values and made the melting point of ice to 0 degree and the boiling point of water to 100 degree. He changed the numbers. And the third question is, why did Kelvin invent the Kelvin scale? To measure the temperature of a very cold things. So he invented the Kelvin scale. And what do you mean by absolute zero? Absolute zero is the temperature at which the particles do not move at all and everything included air freezes to solid. Okay. And the next question is, what similarity can you see in the Kelvin and the Celsius scale? Okay, both the Kelvin and the Celsius temperature scale have 100 degree difference between the freezing and the boiling point. You can see that Celsius and Kelvin, in the Kelvin you see it's 273 degree water freezes and boils at 373 degree. That is 100 degree difference. In the same way, in the Celsius there is 0 and 100 degree, there is a 100 degree difference. So we can say that both have 100 degree difference. And the next question is how are the two scales different? Celsius scale starts at 0 degree which is the temperature at which water freezes and Kelvin scale starts at which all the particles have no energy. That means there is not possibility of moving. The particles do not move at all. That means they don't have any energy and it cannot vibrate. Okay. And which temperature scale do you think is easiest to use? You can say that. And in today's world, we mostly see that uh, we are using in today's 
like the Celsius scale. Okay, we use it today. And that's it. I hope you like my video. Do like and subscribe my channel. Bye bye.